Hi, welcome to educator.com and the lesson in Adobe Illustrator CS6. And we're going to talk about layers. So let's get right into it, shall we? And layers are, from the first lesson, I mean, it's hard to not to deal with layers um, because they're all here. And the way to think of layers is as transparent sheets that are on top of each other. Um, so for instance, um, this layer here is on top of the layers that shows the title for layers. And here's my little overview, which covers all of that, so that you don't see what's happening now. One way, I can do Command Y, and it chooses everything as um, outline art, and you can see through all the layers uh, that are visible. So now you can see that that layer is there. So if I wanted to make that one not visible, that's the way to do it. So you click on the eye. So I'm kind of jumping ahead. So let me uh, get back. So uh, then Command Y to bring it back to uh, your preview and not outline mode. OK, so uh, let's look at the layered panels in depth, which we are, we're already here. So again, I started showing you some things. So I can click the eye tool to make things visible or invisible. And so if I want to lock a layer, um, that means I can't move anything on it. So here, I can move the apple, but if I lock it, then I can no longer move that apple. OK, uh, also, um, I can select, you see the selection square? That means uh, I can move this to another layer. So here I have a CD player, a CD or a DVD. And I can move this, and it won't change position, but it's now, you can see by the blue outline, it's, it's on another layer. It's on the, the CD group layer. OK, so now I can move this back down, drag that down. So that's what the selection square will do. Now when I select the target square, it selects everything on this layer, and the target uh, circle is going to get, allow me to change the appearances. And we're going to do appearances at, at a future date on a future lesson. So I won't go really go into that right now. Also, when you highlight a layer, when you select a layer, it gets highlighted, and there's always a little uh, triangle in the right-hand corner uh, to let you know. So you have two ways to tell that uh, a layer is selected. Now down here, I have Locate Object, and I'm going to show you that a little bit later. Uh, you can make and release a, a clipping mask, and you can create a new sub-layer, and you can create a new layer, and you can delete the selection, which is usually a layer. OK? So this is your uh, Layers panel. And these are the options for the Layer panel. Now, some of these duplicate what, I, what we've already seen. But I can um, duplicate objects. So I duplicated that layer, which was the name of the layer. Layer name was objects. I can delete the objects layer. And this is objects for for this layer. So here, I can change different things here, make it a template to show it, to preview it, lock, print, and do it. So preview, once I click OK, I have to get rid of this. So you can see that now this is in, this is not being previewed anymore. It's in outline mode. And so even though I went to that to change it, I can change it back here. Oh, that's visibility. So hold on the Option key and bring it back to visibility. OK. Uh, where was that? OK. 